up, uh, loyal Cub fans? Uh, it wasn't a good day on uh, third Wednesday, Wednesday, August 8th, the last game against the Royals and also the last game of nine days in a row playing baseball, and Cubs have a much-needed day off Thursday. Well, I was hoping to get the, the sweep. Uh, never easy to do on the road. You kind of expected that they could get it done against the worst team, the Royals, but was it meant to be? Uh, Cubs lose nine to nothing, uh, too. But keep in mind, it's only one game. No matter how much you win or lose, lose by, it still only costs us one loss. So, Cubs still a game and a half ahead in the division. They have a day off, uh, and then they take on Washington Nationals. They still have some pretty good starting pitching. Their bullpen's kind of a mess, and uh, so we'll we'll see what happens. Hopefully, Cubs can win at least two out of three in that series. Uh, as far as uh, the Wednesday night game, uh, you know, the first inning, Rizzo gets a hit off the pitcher's leg, and uh, they were concerned about him, and he ended up staying in the game. Uh, could have been a nightmare for the Royals. You know, you never want to go to your, your bullpen, you know, eight plus, you know, with in the first inning. Yeah, that's usually a recipe for a loss. But that pitcher sucked it up and uh, took us several innings to get another hit. Cubs can only get three singles all game. Only two other singles since the Rizzo hit. Uh, just wasn't enough to get it done. Drew some walks here and there, but uh, it, it was a bad offensive performance. For a while, it was looking like Quintana, uh, Quintana gave us a chance. He only had two runs given up. They were given up in the second inning. That was his uh, bad inning where he walked to, gave up two hits, two runs, and then, then he settled down, had a low pitch count going into the seventh inning, uh, and then it was a walk, a hit. Madden kept him in there, got one, uh, and then he gives up a three-run homer. So then it's getting kind of out of hand, down five nothing in the seventh inning. Uh, and then he pulled him and put in uh, Chatwood. Only the second time we've seen Chatwood, both in uh, blowout games. One time when we we're winning a blowout game, he pitched the ninth inning. He pitched a scoreless inning that time. Today we kind of seen the Chatwood that we've seen. Most of the year, you know, walk, you know, two or three guys, uh, gave up four runs, a lot of hard hit balls, uh, not good, four runs in an inning and two thirds. Uh, about the only thing positive I can say is, uh, you know, with Thursday off, if we go into Friday's game and all the other bullpen guys, not Chatwood. Uh, so we're looking at, you know, uh, we're looking at, seven other seven other bullpen guys uh that would have two days or more off uh would be going in and they haven't pitched since uh tuesday so they should be well rested ready for the nationals and it's only a three game uh series versus them uh, i guess consistency consistency is always a key very tough in baseball one positive to or starting you take away quintana seventh which you can say maybe madden kept him in a little bit too long based on his history third four time through the order guys usually rock them pretty hard uh that at least we ate up six innings uh the last three outings and uh some of that kind of helps you uh not use chatwood uh you know we're just kind of trying to hide him at this point he doesn't seem like he's going to be effective to help us a whole lot uh you know, he definitely won't be on the playoff roster, assuming we make it. Right now, we're still controlling our own own destiny for that. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to play out. The blessing in disguise is Hamels uh, doing well. Took his spot in the starting rotation. You know, we have all our starters coming back next year if we choose to. Like, you know, Hendricks uh, will be on the second year of arbitration. Uh, hopefully, he keeps playing better, and then we'll want him back. Uh Quintana, we have him for two more years, uh, but we could buy him out for a million. So we'll see. But uh, to, we we could uh, opt in to keep Hamels next year. And then I don't know how the Chatwood's going to play out. It's hard to trade a guy. You like to get some value or salary relief when you pay a guy $38 million over three years. So we'd be looking at uh, like $25.5 million going into the next two years. 
You know, if we just DFA'd him without anyone, you'd like to get some type of return or even uh, some salary relief too, as far as like avoiding the luxury tax and all that. Uh, but that's where we're at. Uh, as far as uh, starting rotation, there were some talks that they were going to reevaluate on the day off, like maybe the order and things like that. Uh, but I also heard yesterday that at least the three starters going into the Washington series, uh, it's still going with Hendricks and then Lester and then Hamels. Uh, that Sunday night game is interesting. Hamels is pitching well and up against Max, who's uh, one of the better National League pitchers, you know, couple times Cy Young winner. Uh, so that would be a challenge. But one thing I feel optimistic about is uh, Nationals bullpen's kind of a mess right now. And so could be maybe a shootout some games. Uh, hopefully uh, Hendricks has been, you know, off and on, but not giving up as many runs. Uh, he's not consistently getting to that sixth inning. Lester has been you know, one of the worst starters, believe it or not, as great as he was the first half. Uh, maybe that extra day off, you know, having Thursday off, he'll have five off days. Uh, and then we get another day off on Monday, so he'll pitch on five days rest again. Hopefully we'll see a lot better performance. Uh, we've seen him bounce back before, uh, and so we could really use him. Uh, you know, as far as like some of the other starting Pitching help that could spot start. You know, Darvish is still rehabbing, did a simulation game. I would imagine the next step would be uh, a rehab start or two or more in the minor leagues. Uh, Smiley, I, he done simulation game two. Things been kind of quiet, but there are a couple guys you could plug in. Uh, and maybe that's a plan against Milwaukee. I don't know, but uh, it seems like they them coming back would be a little bit too soon because they haven't done a rehab game and then they'd have to wait five days at least after that you know i'm kind of guessing we're going to wait till september uh first when we have the 40 man call up rosters and then hopefully those guys be ready and we start seeing them do some rehab starts come up in the next week or two as we get to the end of august and get into september baseball too so well, Cubs still up a game and a half. I guess things could be worse. Disappointing last game, but good we won a road series and take on the Nationals, and we'll take it one game at a time. Let's go, Cubs.